What's good, CNE squad? It's your boy Cameron. And your girl Eden. And we are back with another video. Yes. Look guys, I know this is not the type of video that you guys typically see on our channel. And if you guys been around for a while, then you obviously know that. If you guys are brand new to the channel, this is not a typical thing that you will see on our channel and we probably won't be having too many more videos like this. Um, we actually had to think about posting this video because what happened to me, it shouldn't have happened to anybody, especially in their own residence and where they stay. As you guys do know, we recently moved into a new apartment. Yes, and we've only been here for like a month, y'all. So this mm -hmm. happened when we were like two weeks in. So we were like really, really, really new. And just like, this is not clickbait. I'm just letting you guys know, like this actually really happened to Cameron. I wasn't with him when it happened, but it really happened to him. Exactly. So it was about two weeks ago where, you know, I was doing my little nightly routine, just taking the dogs out, Nala and Logan, to use the restroom. Uh, this night, it was particularly really, really late. Yeah, usually the last time, he always takes him out for the last time for safety reasons, mm -hmm. actually, because they don't want me taking him out. So it was like 11, 11-ish. 11 exactly. And we have already been getting acquainted with the new place and the, our surroundings and things like that. And it seemed like a very, very safe place to be. But that kind of all changed the other night when I was out walking the dogs. And when I was coming back, I was greeted by someone with a gun and pretty much pulled the gun out on me. Um, gave me a very, very intimidating look. I mean, like it was a nasty, nasty look y'all and just looked at me and stared me down and then turned away, not revealing to me that he was a security guard at the complex that we work for. Yeah. So it's kind of seemed like shook when he like, cause I was up like yep. washing dishes or something. So he came up and he was like, someone just pulled a gun on me. And I'm like, what? Like, I'm like, I literally have like no idea. So Cameron like runs in and he's like checking the windows. And I'm like, I'm thinking we need to like, I don't know, start like boarding up like windows <laughs> and stuff. Like I'm like freaking out because of how he came up. And I wasn't trying to freak her out or anything like that. I've been around a lot of terrible things when I was growing up in Indiana. Um, I just didn't think that any of those things were inside the area that we live in. But unfortunately, sometimes people hire the wrong people and have people who aren't really good people. So in this instance, you never really expect a worker of or it, 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 regardless of anything, not a worker, a resident or anybody to basically threaten you with a firearm. Yeah at your own residence. I mean, you never really expect to be in that situation. Like he says he yeah. has kind of been on the other end of that. Like well, I moved away up. from that. Yeah. I feel like I, I moved have away from never, it. never, ever, ever been in that situation, like at all, period. So, you know, I didn't know he was a security guard or anything like that because like I said, he did not introduce himself. It was basically me walking the dogs. I was coming back up and, you know, he had his hand on his, you know, his pistol and he was just like staring me down with, you know, with the little, little jerk, you know, hesitant look like he was going to, you know, pull it out and just, you know, just blow my whole head off and just gave me the meanest, meanest stare. I mean, like the meanest stare and then just turns around and walks away. And at this point he was like, maybe 10 20 feet away from me yeah and because cameron said he was like right when we like turn the corner so just to, like visualize for you guys yeah we turn the corner to like walk up to our apartment there's like a little like kind of like narrow like hallway that goes to like, yeah. the other side and it's like yeah it's only it's, it's only like 20 feet so like it's kind of close proximity to have mm -hmm. someone like do that to you it was a really really disturbing incident and you know um i had actually spoken to the police in regards to this incident and this is where you know you don't really understand um i guess texas law because like they said everybody just carries a gun out around here and you know there's no big deal i've never even thought that there would be you know after hour security at your apartment that is armed yeah i mean it's, it's alarming a little bit yeah, I mean, it's just alarming to know that there are people on your property that are armed. Because well, everybody's armed in Texas. 
but people who are supposed to just be protecting the residents and things like that. Um, so I'll call the police. They said basically they could not, um, you know, arrest him or do anything like that in regards to it uh, because he did not pull out the gun. But I was really calling them because I wanted to find out who this individual was because, you know, even though nothing happened to me, maybe something could happen to the next individual if we got somebody running around and just ready to pull out and, you know, pull out their pistol and shoot, you know. So I spoke with them, you know dealt with that. They identified him and told me, hey, he's actually security guard for the apartment complex that you stay at. And I'm just like, oh, okay. Well, he didn't really identify himself or anything like that because this could have all been taken care of by him literally just saying, my bad, I'm the security guard, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, instead, like that's like the weirdest part. Yep. If someone does that to you and it's an actual accident, yep. they should probably be like, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. Yeah. Like, so I'm not. Nah, he just stared me down. He he wanted me to, I guess, fear for my life or I whatever mean, it was. Intimidated. He wanted reason. he wanted to intimidate me, and you know, I I guess he did. You know, he he got with his point across by just trying to intimidate me. But it's kind of crazy because they said they cannot do anything from intimidation standpoint. Uh, in Texas, uh, they said that he would actually have to draw his gun all the way out of his holster. And, you know, basically, <laughs> basically take care of me and shoot me, you know. Uh, but I spoke to the apartment complex because I was like, surely there's something they could do in regards to someone who's staying here, a resident at your place that, you know, they could take care of this issue, um, you know, and make it more safe for me and anybody else who lives here. And I, when I greeted them and told them about the incident that happened that night, and this was the next morning, the front office basically told me that he's been here a long time. So that's basically what I just have to deal with in so many words. He's yeah. been here a long time. And just to put it in like perspective for mm -hmm. some of you guys, just like where our mind is on it, is I'm honestly a little afraid for Cameron to walk the dogs at night by himself now. So I try to go out with him because I do not want the same situation happening. But I don't really want her with me because if the situation goes south, I don't want her there in harm's way as well. But it honestly doesn't feel like a very, very safe community anymore. Um, just that we have to live here and this individual is goes with no punishment or anything from intimidating me with, uh, with a whole pistol, y'all. Like, it's... It's crazy. It's nuts. I thought I moved away from that. Like I said before, um, it's just crazy that we're inside this situation. And to top everything off, I continued the conversation with the front office and also, you know, VPs and things like that that are over them. And basically, I found out more disturbing information is the fact that this specific security guard wasn't even security over like our portion, our bu our building or anything yeah. like that. He was supposed to be basically in their other community and policing that, not policing over here. So he was actually in the wrong place. He wasn't even supposed to be inside this building. And there's no real resolution they're able to offer besides next time he'll introduce himself. Yeah. I mean, as far as we know, he's still on grounds. I don't know. I mean, I he definitely still on grounds. He was fired, so I'm assuming he's still around when we're yeah. walking the dog. So, I mean, that that in itself is honestly like kind of frightening. Well, it's just shaky that we had to deal with the situation with him and then we also have to deal with the situation with the front office who is just not very kind to individuals that live here in the residence you typically the front office are nice folks who will take care of the residents they want the residents to first feel safe and foremost like that's that's it but here it's just a little bit different so we want y'all squad to just pray for us and just you know i i hope that this never escalates farther than what it already has but as far as this community no they they haven't taken care of us and, and it doesn't seem like they're going to. No. I'm kind of a kind of a closed case on their end. Not at all. All I get is, you know, a whirlwind of lies 
back and forth. Every time I talked to them, they told me, hey, this individual wasn't supposed to be there. I've told him several times he's not supposed to be there before this incident. So it kind of makes me question if this incident has happened before with this individual or not. Because they said they weren't supposed to be in here and they told them countless times. And then later on through email, they said, you know, no, it was the first time I, I said that. And I was just like, hey, you know, I, I pretty much record everything over the phone as well. But she literally so told me that she had already told this individual he wasn't supposed to be here. So it's a very unfortunate incident that happened to me. One that I did not plan on. One that um, it's just it, it's just not a good feeling when you feel like your life could have been taken away from you. And like, like I said, I'm no punk by any means or whatever. Um, but that's something that I moved away from. I, I've never been threatened uh, by any gun or threatened in any matter since, you know, I, I'm not around that no more. Like that's, 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 that's way back in the past. And, you know, it's just silly, but. Yeah. I mean, right now we're just hoping it doesn't happen again like mm -hmm. that's really just the most we can do is like hope and pray it doesn't happen again like when we're out taking the dogs out and that's really just i don't know that's kind of where we are with it exactly but it just like i said it just doesn't feel right when the front office treats you the way that we've been treated but you know we've got to keep pushing forward like we said this is not typically the video that you will see on our channel we just wanted to share this with you guys and just be able to share, you know, all of our lives, not just be able to share, you know, just the fun moments and funny moments with you guys. Yeah, we want to I mean, share it all. Yeah, anything really monumental happens that affects us, like, we want you guys to know about it, honestly. So we appreciate everybody who watched this video, everybody who is with us in prayer in regards to the situation, and just hope that we're able to, you know, not have to deal with anything like this before. I don't think anybody should have to deal with this on the surface that they live on like that's it's just crazy it's nuts but we're gonna keep moving forward and you know keep putting out these banger videos and things like that and if you guys have not already subscribed to our vlog channel make sure y'all go over to the vlog channel because we will be dropping vlogs over there if you guys want to know a little bit more about us and um yeah. everything else More because a deeper feel over there uh -huh. there's no content on it right now but we uh -huh. will be dropping the first one really really soon and we're sorry because i know we were supposed to drop that on march 1st and you guys have been you know on our butt about it but it will be dropping real real soon we have really really good plans and big plans for that channel so make sure y'all go over and subscribe to that it's cam and eden vlogs and I think that's that's pretty much it. That's the story, yeah. and that's what we're going to live kinda, with. Yeah, it's kind of a little update for you guys, what we're mm -hmm. going through. Keep us in your prayers that we stay safe. and Yeah, because we've got to be here for a whole year now. Like, this is the beginning over of our lease. Year, over a year. Honestly, yeah. That's crazy. But, yeah, that's it. We love y'all CE Squad, but until next time, we, we out. out.